Hi everyone, this is Smriti. Welcome to QA Automation Classes. So, in today's session, we are going to learn about the reporting. Although we have been using uh, default Cucumber reporting till now, we are going to uh, incorporate uh, extend reports today to our existing framework and we want to see the graphical uh, UI report as well as we can generate one PDF report also. So, if you see in extend report, we are going to use the latest extend report 5.1.1 and we are going to use we are going to use the Spark report which is a free to use tool. Okay. So without wasting for the time, so let's get it started. So now, uh, so first we have to add those dependencies to the palm.xml. Let's go to the palm.xml. Okay. So what is our dependencies? So here we have all the dependencies. Okay. So now I need two dependencies. Okay. So one is we need the extend reports, Cucumber 7 adapter, and then we need the extend reports. Okay. So I have it here. Okay. So this is the extend reports, Cucumber 7 adapter. Let's go to uh, Maven central repository. Maven repository. Let me search for the extend reports hyphen cucumber seven hyphen adapter. So enter. So this is the first one. Okay. And one dot one four point zero. Okay. So just copy it. So take dot grasshopper. Okay. And extend reports cucumber seven adapter and it is one dot one four point zero. So copy this up and put it into your dependencies. Okay. okay. And the next one would be your extend reports. Okay. So this extend reports count dot average track right 5.1.1 this is the latest one so let's take this one so let's put it over here okay so one minute okay so put it here okay so now extend report just to reload the resulting dependencies you can see guys over here with the same time let it uh, resolve those dependencies that was still provided. Okay. So now there are a uh, few things we need to do. So we need to uh, have the extended properties file where we have to write the few properties for the extended report, how exactly the report should come. And uh, again, we should have the PDF report related configuration also we should add there. And uh, extend config.xml where we show the uh, how the view should happen, right? So these two things we should uh, create two files, okay? So where exactly we need to create these files, okay? So these files should get created under the uh, resources folder, okay? So let's go to our resources and here right click new okay so before that let me go to qa automation classes dot blogspot dot blogspot dot it okay so you can see here uh extend config dot xml so read more so just copy this one extend config dot xml copy and yeah let's go here new file extend config dot xml Cool. So now let's copy the content from here. We can go through it once. Okay, no worries. So copy. This is your XML file. Okay, and we need to have the properties file also. Okay, so if okay, you go here, down below we have extend dot properties. Okay, so add the extend dot properties also to the resources. So, so stage resources new file I'm saying extend the properties and here just add this property file related information so you can go ahead and change the uh, properties depending upon your uh, your wish okay so now let's understand what is the properties file content and what is the content of the xml file right so if you see in the properties cell we're saying extend dot reporter dot spark dot static or true so we are using the spark reporter and we are telling okay start the spark reporter and out out is like where exactly you want to show generate your report okay so i'm saying go to test type and output do we have a folder called test type and output we don't have right Cucumber reports by default one we are getting generated here. Okay, so I'm saying okay, so go to test type and output folder and there spark report folder, and then spark report.html. This is the HTML report that is going to get created. And uh, where exactly we are having our uh, uh, configurations. So configuration is present in source test resources extend hyphen config.xml. So we have that here, right? Extend config.xml. So it will read those configuration from this config file. Okay. And screenshot directly test type and output. So there should be one test type and output where the screenshot will be stored. Okay in the test type and output uh, in the same here if you see right test output and test output okay 
and uh, screenshot is a tip path is dot dot slash okay so then again there is again for the uh, pdf report related configuration again the same thing we are saying go to the test output and the name of the pdf report will be pdf report dot pdf okay so <clears throat> in how in which order you want to see the star report so i'm saying first shows me the dashboard then the test then the category then the exception then the author then the device then the log so this is the view order okay we can specify the view order and system info dot way so i'm saying windows and uh, user who's the user okay so you can show the your username and what is the build system input or build this information you can customize okay so now uh, these are the uh, two important files that we need to uh, do right we need to create so now what we need to do okay so let's go to this uh, config right so config.xml so what exactly we have in the config so in config if you see the theme is standard okay so we can either have the standard theme or we can have the dark theme but i'm going with the standard so that you can see it properly and uh, encoding is utf8 the standard encoding is used and protocol is the HTTPS protocol and then document title is the extent and report name is the automation report okay and location where exactly the chat location is at the bottom okay and yeah that's all okay so now what we can do so we can go ahead and run the test script and now let's see what is happening so when i run the test script what will happen so again those two feature file will get invoked and uh, <clears throat> out of those two feature file one feature file will run once because it has one scenario another user login feature has the two scenarios but the second scenario is running with the scenario outline and example with the two sets of data one is the valid set of the input another one is the invalid set of the input okay so uh, let's see let's wait for the execution to finish then we can go and see those uh, reports where exactly they are getting generated and how the reports looks like okay <coughs> sorry this is the failed scenario okay good so <coughs> it is done all right so now if i scroll down okay so fine so now let me reload from the response okay so now everything is there so let me see if we are getting or not okay those reports are getting or not idea log source target cucumber reports now we said we should get uh, created in the test output report right <coughs> test output so let's say um, spark report all right uh, okay so let's see test output is not getting created right okay source uh, mm -hmm. okay so after the target here the test output should have been created okay let's see the configuration if we're missing anything over there <clears throat> extend dot uh, report okay so the extend dot report we can say and let's see the location okay test type and output slash spark report spark report dot html perfect and uh, source test resource this is the resources okay config file we're passing perfect screenshot directory test type and output okay this is also fine screenshot relative path is dot dot slash okay perfect and here uh, here also same right test output holder but this test output is not at all getting generated right why it is not getting generated so let's run it once from the runner and let's see what is happening Uh, test output pdf report pdf report dot pdf extend reporter spark view order everything looks to be fine over here but what is the xml let's see the xml extend config dot xml so hmm, everything looks to be proper here okay so everything looks to be okay now Let's see, still running. Okay, let's get it stuck or what? Log is there. 
test is there what is the test output okay still executing let's wait for some time okay so everything is done refresh why don't i see that folder getting generated over here test output so let's go to the location here okay so let's go to the path and let's see i don't know something it doesn't come here so target source log idi kit no test output is not created over here cisco cumber report generated test sources test classes here fire now status so cumber reports and classes <coughs> no it is still not getting generated so there is some issues we need to identify what why exactly it is not getting generated okay so let's see that okay <laughs> so let's understand why it is not getting generated okay so we just now saw the test output folder is not getting generated because there are some changes we need to do to our runner also uh, like uh, if you go to our runner class uh, what is the runner class so not in the main in the test only so in java there's a test runner okay so come test runner so if you see right so we have uh, if you see instead of logging we are all report related uh, we are adding all this configuration related information right so we are saying uh, for a report you use report.html report.json report.xml right okay. so similar so now we, after using the extreme cucumber adapter you give the same column okay so give the comma so now uh, let's try to run cucumber runner test okay so if you run now should work the second uh, okay user login okay valid one next one is with the valid credential and then with the invalid credential okay so let's check so this is also valid and the next one should be with the invalid okay so let's check okay fine so if the folder got created yes the folder got created here you can see pdf report here you can see the spark report and here the failed screenshot also got captured over here right so you can see <coughs> this is the failed screenshot also captured okay and you can expand you can view okay nice viewer we have got here so now let's open the html folder open it with uh, yeah. so now if you see here it's saying so one is pass one uh, feature is failed right so now if you see out of four scenario three scenario passed one is failed okay and uh, out of all those steps right so we're saying 23 steps are passed one is failed and one is skipped okay and here you can see the same thing in the timeline okay so and here you can see with respect to those uh, tags right how many smoke tags are there okay negative login scenario one was there and that got failed right and similarly at the rate all all what is the pass percentage okay so positive login scenario what is the pass percentage okay and <clears throat> this is the system uh, environment related uh, whatever the information we have passed and this is the automation report what we have already uh, put that in the uh, report okay in the configuration and uh, start time end time how many features passed how many feature failed and then here if you go to the next tab here you can see uh two test has been done open sign up or login page this is one and then another is the user login this is feature wise it is showing right so if you see here and if you click on it see everything is passed over here okay and in the user login so first one is passed second one scenario outline demo in that first one got passed and the second one got failed as a scenario and here also it captured the screenshot okay if you click on that you will see the uh, highlighted screenshot okay uh, expanded screenshot and then here with respect to the tax you can understand with respect to tax what and all got failed here okay and uh, smoke there were three pass and one failed okay and uh, negative uh, login scenario okay all one failed positive login scenario one pass okay and bugs the failed ones will be shown over here okay so this is how you see the html report okay so apart from the html report we also have our pdf report okay so let's open this pdf report <clears throat> and in the pdf report if you see 
<coughs> this was the cucumber report okay and the date on which it is generated date and type sorry and it's saying uh, start and end time and duration it took to run all those test cases so features so past one failed one skipped zero so scenario three scenario past past three and failed one so one scenario failed and skipped zero steps past 22 failed one and skipped one okay so if you see here it shows like a uh, feature level this is at the scenario level and this is at the step level okay and here you can see the percentage of pass and fail right 50 percent fail 50 percent pass and again here you see 70 to 75 percent is got passed okay and here 90 percent got passed okay so and here summary you can see the summary right so scenario level and the step level whether it is pass fail or skipped okay so <coughs> total duration taken right so number of tests it shows everything so one one scenario <coughs> sorry and in user login we are running three times right so three scenarios are here right so everything you can see here and uh, fail and skip scenarios user login is uh, scenario outline demo that is fail and skip scenario and tag related information if also you want you can see over here and uh, feature summary right and uh, here you see the beautiful number of scenarios and what is the time taken right duration and everything you will see feature summary and the scenario related summary it's a very robust and uh, vast one right it gives all the details in the very uh, good reporting format right so detailed section open sign up or login page at this is at the detailed level okay so this gives a very good uh, information about the uh, <coughs> test report that has been executed okay so see how beautiful it looks so always go with the pdf report if your management wants any kind of a report just share this pdf report okay which will be very good and it will be very efficient okay so that's how you generate your pdf report and the extent report with the help of the adapter okay uh, so that's all to this class guys if you guys are really enjoying this sessions i'll request you to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to key automation classes for the for the sessions please subscribe and if you have any doubt please comment in the uh, in comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you everyone bye, -bye.